Okay, I decided to make a video about what happened to the Church of Satan. Uh, I got a lot of questions asking, you know, like, you know, what's the current state of the Church of Satan, blah, 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 just all kinds of questions regarding the Church of Satan. And uh, this is my best um, information that I have. And granted, it's all secondhand information. I wasn't there. Uh, I don't know most of these parties involved. But I have talked to in the last year or two several people that um, were involved, that do know the parties involved, such as friends of Anton LaVey, people that were around when Anton LaVey died, people that, you know, um, were administrative officials in the Church of Satan, you know, people that have, um, that are credible, that were, um, have first-hand information and uh, were around and know the parties involved. So that being said, um, it is second-hand information, but I'm pretty confident that these people are accurate and their stories seem to line up so basically what happened is before Anton LaVey died he wanted uh, his request was that Boyd Rice take over as high priest of the Church of Satan. Uh, for whatever reason Boyd Rice didn't want to at the time and uh, LaVey ended up dying and left the keys with uh, to the Church of Satan with Blanche Barton. Well at the time uh, you know the Church of Satan or at least LeVay and Blanche Barton, you know, LeVay being dead, Blanche Barton had some financial problems, and they lost the black house that they lived in. And uh, Peter Gilmore, uh, at the time, helped Blanche Barton out financially, helped her get back on her feet and stuff like that. You know, helped her out for a good year or two, or whatever it was. And uh, as kind of um, a gesture of respect, Blanche Barton made Peter Gilmore the high priest of the Church of Saint which is not what Anton LaVey wanted, but that's what happened. Because Blanche Barton was the, you know, beneficiary of LaVey's estate and the Church of Satan. Um, after that, the Church of Satan moved to New York, um, obviously, in Hell's Kitchen or in that area. And the Church of Satan then took on kind of a new twist. Um, Peter Gilmore was kind of, you know, kind of a shadow of LaVey, kind of a, a mini LaVey, a clone. Not even a very good one, in my opinion, but... You know, he kind of took the church saying in a different direction. He kind of made it more of a elitist group. You know, he doubled the membership fee. He made it kind of a, an elitist group where, you know, his attitude was, well, if you're not part of the Church of Satan, then you're not a real Satanist, you know. And the Church of Satan kind of closed the doors, didn't really become public, weren't really proactive in doing anything. Um, and that's kind of the, the state that it remains. Um, as far as Anton Levy's son, uh, Xerxes, um, there was the original intent that he was going to take over as high priest of the Church of Satan. And that's, from what I've heard from the sources, is that he doesn't have any interest in doing so. Now granted, he's only 17 or 16 or something like that, but from what I've heard, um, he doesn't have an interest in doing so. Plus there's going to be, fuck. Okay, where was I? Back to um, Xerxes LeVay. Yeah, apparently uh, the original intention was Xerxes, when he matured and was old enough, was going to take over the high priest of the Church of Satan, but allegedly, what I've heard, Xerxes doesn't have an interest in him. Uh, I don't know this for certain, but um, I guess time will tell. You know, I mean, he's still really young. And uh, um, Carla LeVay started something called the First Church of Satan, or the First satanic church or something like that. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about that. Um, uh, I know she does. She's very public and in fact, I, from what I hear, she's the only actual sane LeVay. Uh, I guess the rest um, have issues. But uh, that's what I've heard. Um, but anyway, yeah, she does her first satanic church, I think is what it's called. And she also does public appearances in the elbow room in San Francisco doing like parties for like Christmas bash and Halloween bash and shit like that, which is pretty cool. I've never got a chance to check that out. I wish I could, but I've never been in San Francisco at the time. Um, Zena LeVay, um, she married Shrek, Max, Nicholas Shrek, and uh, they, I guess, moved to Europe, and they do their own thing. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. They're pretty private people. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what they're doing. I don't know if it's the radio werewolf thing. I don't know if it's something different. Someone told me they're on this, like, left-hand path, like, 
Eastern mystical mysticism type thing. Well, I, I really don't know, though, to tell you the truth. I do know they live in Germany. Stanton LeVay uh, lives somewhere in the mountains in kind of middle of nowhere, California. Um, I've talked to him a couple times, but uh, as far as I know, he's not really doing a whole lot. Um, but I really don't know. I, I'm not like friends with him or anything. So, um, so that's where the Levees went, and uh, that's what would happen to the Church of Satan. Um, hopefully, the Church of Satan will pull its head out of its ass and start becoming more proactive and doing stuff instead of sitting back and you know writing blogs here and there on the internet and uh, claim that they're this elite organization, you know, and you're not a Satanist unless you pay them 200 bucks. You know, and get your little red card, and now you're a real Satanist. And this whole shift in dynamics and attitude within the Church of Satan when Gilmore took over is why I resigned my membership status in the Church of Satan back in last 2010 on Halloween. Um, so that's 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 the best information that I know of of the current affairs and state of not only the LeBays but of the Church of Satan. Uh, and again, this isn't this isn't something that I know firsthand. This is something that's secondhand information, but it's from very credible people that were friends with Levee, part of the Church of Saint, part of the administration, you know, that had a you know, firsthand knowledge and experience while this shit went down. And uh, all their stories seem to pretty much line up, so I'm pretty sure that's pretty accurate. So there you go. That's what happened in the Church of Saint, and that's the um, update on uh, the current. Um, status and uh, lives of the Levees.